Guys, Dane with Clash Mirage. I uh, had a clan member ask me to do a uh, a little tutorial on um, timing of of troop placement. So, I figure I'd do one. This is a perfect village for that. You can see, I mean, 300 and 300 elixir and gold. So we'll go for it. And I'll kind of show you what I do. So I'm gonna set the village to ensure that there's enough loot to make it worth looting, and to make sure the loot is easily accessible. Secondly, I size up the defenses, namely the Barbarian King, Archer Queen, and Clan Castle troops. If those are not destroyed before I start sending in my uh, my troops, uh, I can make it so that I, I don't get anything. It can put a huge damper on my tech. So as you can see with the Barbarian King, I dropped a couple of goblins to get his attention, and then I uh, dropped a few archers to draw him outside of range of the other defenses to destroy him. And that is how you want to uh, take care of a Barbarian King, Archer Queen, and Clan Castle troops. You want to drop a few troops that you can spare to uh, to get them out and, uh, and activate it, and then uh, use your archers or whatever other troops you want to use to uh, destroy them once they're outside of range of the other defenses to help them. After that, you size up the, uh, the wall that you'd like to do your best to penetrate. I drop my giants here to, uh, to distract the defenses and then some archers to help support them so that, I can, uh, so that I can keep the giants alive as long as possible. And then I drop all my wall breakers because I thought they were giants, dang it. Uh, but they serve the same purpose anyway as I open up that wall. And then since this village is so wide open here in the middle and that's where all the resources are, I just drop all the giants right here to uh, to go ahead and distract the defenses. I put some archers over up on this top area to kill those uh, those cannons simply, to, simply for the reason of keeping the giants alive for longer. And then once the giants are in there, the mortars and wizard towers will stay locked on the uh, on the giants until they're destroyed or the giants get, uh, for instance, with the mortars, get too close that the mortars can't shoot at them any longer. And that is exactly what we want to accomplish here. We want those those splash damage defenses to be focused on the giants so that our uh, our goblins can go take all the resources. And once that, uh, once that happens, we're in business. Uh, send goblins in in packs of 10 or 20, depending upon how big a rush you're in. As I uh, budgeted my time wisely here, I send them in packs of about 10 so that uh, they don't all get destroyed by mortar fire or, uh, or wizard, wizard tower damage and fire. So once they're inside there, you can see it's easy pickings and we're in business. So first things first, size up the village, make sure there's plenty of loot and that it's accessible. Two, size up the defenses, the barbarian king, archer queen, and clan castle troops. Sucker them out and uh, and destroy them once they're outside of defensive structure fire. And then uh, pick a wall where you feel like you can open it up and penetrate. Drop your, your, uh, your giants to distract the defenses. And then send your goblins in. Packs of 10 or 20 to, uh, to take all the loot in between mortar fire. So, there's my basic attack strategy. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and comment. And uh, happy clashing.